Hello everyone, today I wanted to record my first actual commentary video on uh, my thoughts and opinions on the Black Ops Cold War Zombies trailer. I wasn't able to record any type of live reaction or anything because I was actually in school during the time so I, I just watched it during my off period live but I can't really get a reaction for that but anyway let's get into the story. So I think the way that they're continuing the Ether story is probably the best way to do it. Uh, I mean, obviously, Triarch probably wasn't going to continue the Ether story this soon if they weren't put on the Cold War game that Sledgehammer and Raven were making. But, because yeah, it is a bit soon to kind of semi-continue it right after it ended. But I think it is the best way to make it continue. Like, straight up showing... Uh, Samantha that she got through and she's in the new dimension and or new universe that was reborn after Tagdertone but I do hope that probably not going to happen because of kill streaks and stuff like that with helicopters but I hope chaos does come back like maybe next Triarch game maybe halfway through this year's season probably not since there's no re reason to do more work when all the DLC is going to be free but Anyway, yeah, I just hope that the Tagged or Toten ending does keep, like, its permanence and Primus and Ultimus don't come back because that was... The, I think it's a good way to continue the story without undoing how important the ending of Tagged or Toten was. Though, it does, it does undo a lot of the importance since zombies still exist even though the whole point of Nikolai collapsing the multiverse was to uh, make sure 115 never came to Earth and zombies didn't exist. But I do think the zombies are either not created by 115 and are they're either like coming out of the Dark Aether, which uh, would be kind of cool, or they're created from something entirely different involving the Dark Aether. But... Either way, I think the story is going to be really interesting in this game. Again, though, I do wonder how much it's going to be its own original thing and how much it's going to try to be a continuation of Ether. Okay, now on to the gameplay. So, so far, I'm really liking it. everything I see about the gameplay. It looks like another like new take on how zombies works. Obviously, the system where you can start with an AR people might not like but I think since they're doing weapon rarities that will balance it out uh, the exfil system is a cool way to end games early because I know my friends don't like to stay around too long for zombie games so well, we usually just die before we actually well, well, we'll let ourselves die before we actually die die anyway but uh, I think turning turning on the power looks cool. I like how it's all dark and then the map will probably have a completely different atmosphere to to it once you turn on the power. I'll get to that later though in the tone section. Uh, I mean, I can't say too much on the gameplay because we haven't been shown any straight up gameplay. But so far, everything looks promising. I think a big problem could be stuff like the chopper gunner, like if you can just use it as a get out of jail free card where suddenly you're invincible and the zombies won't be attacking you. If the zombies do attack you in solo while you're using an attack chopper, maybe that would be more balanced. But I say that even though in this gameplay I got, uh, <laughs> I got the... I, c I can't even remember the name of the gobble gun right now, but basically makes me invincible as soon as I pop it, so I shouldn't really be saying anything. But, uh, it's like out of sight or something. Anyway, I think, I really think kill streaks might be cool. People are kind of divided on it, but I think it can make things a lot more action packed. But, uh, Leaks did say specialist weapons are returning, which, if they're not too overpowered, like, 
I, I like Black Ops 4, but the specialist weapons are a bit overpowered, and they're also like a j get out of jail free card. You just pop it, and you're basically out of any jam you get into. Uh, if they're like a bit more toned down, it seems like they got some type of equipment or specialist stuff going on in the trailer, where they the the character in the beginning shoots like a little beam onto the ground that explodes into this thing. I, I can't really describe well right now. Anyway, uh... If you can't already tell, I don't have a script or anything written out. I'm gonna probably do something like that in future videos, but I, I just want to share my thoughts like freely, just talking constantly. But one thing I don't like is uh, the points. I well, point system's a whole nother thing, but it seems like the knife. You're not gonna have a knife at the beginning. Not even a Bowie knife. Just just a combat knife that you knife zombies with in the beginning for points so that might really I'm fine with starting with like an AR but a lot a lot of the zombies gameplay will be taken out if you don't have a knife the leaks did say there is a knife in the box but at the point you get the knife out of the box how far is it even going to be effective anymore and like what are you going to be grinding points with at that point? I also think tacticals, like, unless they're zombie exclusive tacticals, I don't think stuns and flashes and stuff like that should really, or if it would really fit well into zombies in the first place, I feel like it'd take a lot of, like, building yourself up from barely having anything at the beginning of the game. But anyway, uh, now I'm going to get into what I think about E what easter eggs could be like or what i think i would like them to be like okay so on easter eggs i really don't have as much of an opinion because i haven't done too many easter eggs only a couple but uh i think i do like when they're able to be done solo like all of black ops 4s were able to be done solo i <laughs> i need to get to that i still haven't done any of black ops 4s solo but I like the way, uh, I like the way they tie into the story really good, and it doesn't feel like you're doing anything monotonous. But that's really all I have to say on Easter eggs. I don't have too many opinions, because I, I really, I need to play more Easter eggs and complete them before I can really give a big consensus and what I can't talk on what I think they should be like. Anyway, uh, next we're going to get into what I think, or what the tone of the game seems to be like, and what I think about it. So when the initial teaser after the multiplayer reveal came out, everyone was typed about it, but I actually, I actually don't like horror tones as much as, like, Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 zombies tones, like, more just the epic adventures and stuff like that. I feel like I like that much more in zombies, and I feel like it can fit the mode a lot more i mean like black ops 1 and black ops 2 i the creepy themes from those i think those are good they didn't go full horror like world war 2 which i think those are still good they're just as good as black ops 3 and 4 but i was worried since sledgehammer was originally working on this game that cold war would turn out to be like uh world war 2 where it's just constant horror but it actually looks like after you turn on the power, it just seems to be going back to regular Triarch zombies. Just epic with all these cool wonder weapons, colorful, all these cool visual moments where there's just everything looks perfect right now. Like I really love the tone they're setting. I think it's the perfect middle ground where it like somewhat resembles the old ether maps with all the colors and with a mix of gray in there but i th i think like the tone that's being set is perfect it you can get a bit of the scariness like right at the beginning of the game but once you turn power on you'll be back to regular zombie action yeah i heard there will also be flashlight attachments which i think could be really interesting uh that could also help just set the beginning toe of the game. I don't know if they will keep the same lights out theme for every map because 
I don't know how they could make that work. Uh, anyway, so now I want to get to my biggest gripe with the game, which is the operators in, st in place of actual set crew of four characters. Uh, Triarch Zombies has a huge personality, and I think the biggest part of that personality is always having four central characters who are the main focus of the story, and you progress with them. I think not having a set crew could really damage the story, but a good middle ground, I think, would be to let people choose whatever character they want, but still have like a canon cast of four default characters for the map, just D Machine. Or I did hear somewhere that the second map will have a canon group of four characters, but I so I think that would be a good move if just the first main map the game launches with just let people play as whoever they want, and then after that have a set crew of four characters, but you still have the option to play as your operator if you want. I think that would be good for both people who really like the story and ha like triart characters and people who just want to be whatever operator they have or are using currently in multiplayer. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I think this is the most excited I've ever been for a game before, but let me... I haven't been excited for too many games, but, uh, anyway, uh, I really think that everything looks great so far, and though there's some things that are a bit, uh, maybe th they haven't shown us everything yet, so it, it's still a bit too early to make, like, final opinions, like I'm kind of making right now, but anyway, I'm gonna just stay optimistic no matter what, I, it really looks good, I haven't had, like, a zombies experience that I hated s so far. But anyway, my two viewers, uh, let me know what you think of this new format. I'm just trying this out with Share Factory using like a bunch of the tools I can use. I just thought it'd be really cool to try to record an actual commentary video. Uh, after I did a joke video for my friends, I realized I could actually do a real one. Uh, but yeah, I got like the Black Ops 3 music in the back that they give you for Share Factory, all of that. Just let me know what you think of it. I know it can be a bit boring to just listen to me just ranting on, but and it was a bit unorganized, but in the future I, I'll try writing like some type of script and just uh, just being a bit more organized with my thoughts instead of just rambling. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will probably have Cold War beta gameplay up if I get any good gameplay. Just maybe another highlight clip compilation. Anyway, thank you for watching.